So Cinderace is now going to be the next event 7 star raid Pokemon battle and it's going to be a lot harder than Charizard ever was able to pull up with. For short overview of what we will be fending off against, it's going to be Terra type fighting and while it will carry the ability Libero which works much like Protean, while it will change its core typing, Terra typing cannot be overridden so it will always be a fighting type throughout the game so fairies of course are your bread and butter to get with flying types to make sure to get that big damage and even psychic to some extent. And much like the 6 star raids, the 7 star raid will add 25 times the HP of Cinderace and consider a perfect Cinderace at level 100 which is the one you will be facing will have roughly 320 HP times 25, that is 8000 HP so that is basically 3 full hits of Asumeriel's huge power play roughs after Belly Drum. However, you might not want to go for those Belladrama Sumerils for this battle. While it's a perfect type for the game, unfortunately, Cinderace has available to it counter, and that might be something to keep in mind in this battle. Other moves it does get, which is worth keeping in mind, is Electro Ball, Bounce, Power Ball, High Jump Kick, and those are all moves that are gonna damage you badly. Combine that with Sucker Punch and the filler moves in Gunk Shot and Iron Head, and even Soul Stance, and we pretty much don't know exactly what type of uh, Cinderace we're gonna fend off against, but I can assure you that if it gets counter, Assumeril is no longer an option, and Duskmane, which was the best option towards the Charizard, is not up to spot 2, as it won't be able to deal with the physical damage output with its low HP stat to get with low defenses, so we gotta find new partners for this type of battle. Luckily, the ones you created towards Charizard are not completely wasted, as Sylveon will be a great option for this battle. While it isn't defensively on par as well, uh, it can still take those resistant hits from those high jump kicks and whatnot, and luckily, thanks to Fake Tears and Moonblast, you will be able to damage this Pokemon quite great. Combine that with Wish, and you got a very good fairy type to be able to stomach a few hits, unless it sets up Soul Stances. One of the more perfect fits for this battle is actually Cerulege with Flash Fire, as Flash Fire gives you immunity in the Power Ball, and obviously the Ghost type gives you immunity in any fighting we want to go for, which means you only gotta watch out for in theory Electro Ball and maybe Sucker Punches. So I'll run this with Bitter Blade and Psycho Cut, I think that's fair enough, together with either Soul Stance or Bulk Up, and then for filler moves I probably will run either Clear Smog or will o -Wizard. I think Clear Smog is better. Uh, since it's an offensive mood, it will reset its stats, which is the most important part here in case it goes for Soul Stances itself or Bulk Ups. I think Cerulege is, like I said, perfect fit for this battle. A Dutch Bun is no damage dealer, everybody knows that. However, its supporting mood pool is really good for this matchup, and as always, thanks to Wish and uh, Body Press, this mod does really well offensively to an extent. Combine it with Helping Hand to make sure either the Assumerils to find their way into this battle to make sure that they get to boost the damage or boost further their Sylveons and that Spun Fingers ability might actually be able to hold off any type of offensive presence that Cinderace can pull off so don't sleep on this mod, while it isn't the most perfect one, it is a fair enough supportive mod. Now another mod I think is gonna be great, even with its dark type in is Grim Snarl. Dark typing, of course, means that you are not having some type of immunity or resistant damage towards its regular moves. However, thanks to Reflect, combined with Bull Cap or Nasty Plot and Destiny Murder and Kiss, you should be fine in most scenarios unless this kind of get out of hand. But I think there's a good supportive option. Thanks to Reflect, you should be able to keep your team alive somewhat well. And with setup in Nasty Plot, you should be able to recover yourself too. So overall, this is a good mod. It, it's nothing wrong with it. Now if we do see counter, Assumeril will still be a very, very viable option for this matchup. There are a few things to keep in mind though, and actually a few things that I think we aren't seeing the pros on the Terra Raids using. This Pokemon gets two things that could avoid the worst of it. First and foremost, Leftovers and Aqua Ring make sure that, let's say, they go for the status move and it resets your stats, you're still most likely able to <laughs> go for another belly drum. It's, it's that simple. Getting your Basically 12% back every turn is crucial for Sumeril. Combine that with Substitute to make sure that when you go for that Belladrum that you are behind a sub to be able to first and foremost manage any Electro Ball that might gonna come your way but also if you decide to attack they destroy your Substitute and not you. So Sumeril phenomenal in the right environment here and of course this is one of those sets you gotta use. It is simply the best set to be able to break this guy down. Another belly drummer that has been pulling some real weight has been Iron Hands, but 
its original form might actually be better for this type of matchup. Thanks to Fix Fast, you can make sure that those power ball is not hitting you nearly as hard. Combine it with leftovers, substitute and billy drum, you should be golden. Now, in contrast to Asumril, this guy can actually recover. Hariyama has Draining Punch, and that's great. That means that after Belly Drum, you can fully recover yourself, or on a sub, you can fully recover yourself. And Send Headbutt will allow you to hit for super effective damage where you don't need recovery. Now, Cinderace can still hit you quite hard, and with the bounce from Cinderace, you make sure you get that substitute going because that's basically your only option towards it. And like I said, Belladrum is great for this matchup, and while it doesn't hit as hard as Asumaril, I think Hariyama has defensively more options to stay alive than Asumaril, you know, Aqua Ring only takes you so far, at least Hariyama has a sporting chance to recover on and on again and set up new substitutes and Belladrums. But those will be my suggestions, and this event is quite short, so make sure to get this right and fix the team already now. Um, they will start running this at New Year's Eve, the 31th of December, and then we'll run it to the 1st of January, and then they'll follow it up with a week and two weeks after, for, through the 1st to the 15th of December next year. So make sure to get this guy. And overall, I think there will be other pawns that are going to be really good for this matchup too, but these are the ones that come to mind that I think offensively really screams effort and hostility towards this Pokemon. And while there are ghost types and you know, dragon pull to an extent that will work fine here too, I want to be specific on the monster that will absolutely break it. And uh, well, I think you got them. So with that said, thank you for watching. Have a great day. Happy hunting. I'll see you guys online. Take care. Bye.